So I'm about to raise 350 million year old creatures, living fossils. These little things are called triops and they live in ephemeral pools. Pretty damn cool. They take full advantage of the rainy times and they pop out when they need to. They can stay dormant for almost like 10 years or something like that. Maybe even longer, who knows? Triops. Well, let's give, let, let's give these triops some props. These things are damn cool and I don't need no damn information on how to grow these. I'm a pro. What the f is this? What am I going to do with this thing? So I'm going to be honest, opening up this little tiny plastic terrarium, aquarium, whatever you call it, it seems tiny. The sand, pretty small. Eggs, well, too small to see. That's what you do with this picture, only if you're a toddler that wets your pants. You're not that. I'm actually going to read these instructions because if I get this wrong, I can just imagine the trolls in the comments going crazy. Don't do it. Okay, and because we're just a little bit more advanced and just like a standard out the box kind of do it yourself DIY, I got some extra sand and some hardscape. Okay, so I have to be honest with you. I was never going to use that small box. I think the triops deserve something a little bit more lavish. I'm going to be using this small aquarium to build like a, a mini desert. Hey, and let me know if there's anyone in the comments that knows exactly the location of where these guys originate from and, you know, do they grow all over the world? I think they're pretty cool. They look like mini horseshoe crabs, so. I'm stoked. So like in nature, all we got to do is wait for the storm and the storm has come. So what will happen is I'm going to let this tank fill up, sit for a couple of days before I add the eggs. There isn't any harsh environment for these little delicate creatures because you need to have distilled water. You know, it needs to be a certain pH. I'm holding thumbs here. Let's actually make sure that there's eggs inside this pack. And I've been searching for a while and I can't find any eggs. Maybe they're just too small. Okay, so quick little update. All of the triops died except for one. So this is a second batch from a separate company. You know, sometimes the eggs just don't hatch. Maybe they're too old. But there was one little lone survivor. I'm going to call him Legend. Like I am Legend. The lone survivor. Anyway, I'm going to get these new eggs hatched up, ready for the tank. And hopefully I can introduce them to Legend without them getting eaten. I don't even know if that's possible, but let's try As I leave you stunned with my absolute cinematic b-roll, you'll notice that there's this tiny movement below the surface of the water. These are the baby triops. These guys look like little cyclops, one-eyed beasts. They're pretty cool. Speaking of beasts, I'm sure Legend's showing them around the tank as we talk. Come here, boy! So doing a little research, I did find out that these guys can be cannibalistic. Now, I think Legend's going to be a little different. I think he's going to be such a good host, show them the ropes and, you know, let them settle in and grow up and start a family. And boy, was I wrong. I was greeted by a scene out of Aqua Arachnids 2.0. That movie doesn't exist. Something like Steven Spielberg made back in the days. I was searching for signs of life. I didn't see anything. Except for this web-like freak of nature that just decided to happen overnight, which I honestly don't know how it happened. But I was surprised. Legend lived on. So there was hope for this tank. I guess you win some, you lose some. The third time trying to hatch these eggs gave me a chance to get them underneath the microscope. And I'm so glad that I did. I managed to film for a couple of hours and captured something that I have never captured before on this channel. And it's truly spectacular. I witnessed the birth of a living fossil. Yes! And as you could hear, I was pretty excited about this because I had put my camera on time lapse for one of the, the capsules that I noticed under the microscope. I filmed for about an hour. It was in the same place and I hadn't moved and I hadn't actually birthed yet. So to capture that footage was truly rare and spectacular and I was extremely excited. I'll be adding a custom airstone to the tank and I'll be fixing up a 
filter to make this filter almost like a little vacuum cleaner that's filtered with the microfiber cloth. This is going to help protect the little creatures from getting sucked into the actual pump. And this is me just currently aerating the new hatchlings and making sure that they're all safe and sound. This is about three days in and they've completely changed to almost looking like their natural shape. So now that this tank is ready, let's add these baby triops. Third time is lucky, it's hold thumbs. Can you believe this is around five days old? These little creatures grow extremely quick. And I think they're strong enough to handle the tank with I Am Legend. Let's just get them introduced. So before any of you think that I actually got a dirty ass tank, that's actually all their exoskeletons after they've shed them when they grow. Some people clean the tank, I just leave it in because it's an extra form of calcium. Every single time they shed, they need extra calcium and it's a great way to increase the nutrient level in the water. And look, if you've been around this hobby and you've done this before, you know that the tank ends up stinking. So I added an air stone just to kind of help oxygenate the water. I know that they come from ephemeral pools, they don't need a lot of oxygen but I just did it for myself at home and maybe that's a little tip that you can do at home if you don't want it to stink that much. Well, all we gotta do now is just wait, sit back and see how these guys develop. Let's see what happens in the next couple of days. And just as I expected, my worst fears, cannibalism had occurred. Unfortunately, I released a bunch of killers <laughs> into the tank and they took out Legend. I knew it was Legend from the shape of it and the size of its shell. And as I watched him getting eaten by his cousin, I realized that this was just natural and the life of triops rest in peace legend you'll be missed and now the rainy season will end drying out their ephemeral pools We'll only have to wait to see what the next season brings. Because Legend, well, Legend was a mom. And hopefully the legacy of Legend will live on.